dear students today we are going to study a new story salvator written by william somerset mogam let us know about the story salvator is a short story by somerset mogam that has the ability to charm the reader through its simplicity no clever plots no suspense or reliance on wit The beauty of Salvatore lies in its simplicity and the simplicity derives its integrity through the masterful characterization of the protagonist. The narrator traces the life of a certain Salvatore and shows us the goodness of this man playing out in the different aspects of less than perfect life. The story opens with the narrator expressing a sense of doubt in what he is attempting i wonder if i can do it towards the end of the story his simple ambition is revealed of holding the reader's attention for a few pages while he draws the portrait of an ordinary man for seeing the rare virtue of goodness let us go to the summary of the story Before we go to the story, I would like to remind you the importance of reading the story from the test book. The story is Salvatore by William Somerset Maugham begins abruptly with I wonder if I can do it. The writer is doubtful whether he can hold our attention for a few pages when he narrates the story of Salvatore. Salvatore was 15 years old, the eldest son of an Italian fisherman. He had a pleasant face and happily took care of his two younger brothers. He spent his morning lying on the sea beach and used to swim effortlessly in the sea where his father used to catch fish. As Salvatore grew, he fell in love and was betrothed to a girl who lived on the Grand Marina. The girl was pretty and had beautiful eyes. Then Salvatore left home for military service to become a sailor in the navy of King Victor Emmanuel. He felt nostalgic and missed the islands of Ischia and Vesuvius which he now realized were parts of his life as important as his hands and legs. He felt all alone in the battleship living with strangers and also in the noisy friendless cities where he landed Salvatore now grew homesick and above all this he missed his fiancée the girl he is engaged to the most in service Salvatore was sent to many places like Spezia Venice Paris and China he fell ill when in China and as he was suffering from rheumatism he was considered unfit for further service salvatore did not mind his illness and rather felt happy to return to his own home he was eager to meet his family and fiancée on his return he was very emotionally welcomed by his parents and brothers with a great deal of kissing and cry of joy but salvatore was looking for his girl in the crowd but in vain she was not there when he went to her house she was sitting with her mother at the doorstep they had already received the news of his illness and learned that he would never be quite well again would never be strong enough to walk like a man so his fiance's mother blandly told him that her daughter could not marry him now this was a heartbreak for sabator but he did not blame the girl one day sabator's mother told him about azunda a girl older than him who had seen him at a festival fallen in love with him and wanted to marry him though at first he denied on his mother's advice he got married to asunda and settled down in a tiny house 
in the middle of a vineyard. Later, they had two children, both boys. Salvatore had to work hard to earn a living. He used to catch cuttlefish at night. He also used to work in his vineyard the whole day. His rheumatism often took its toll on him. He would then lie down on the beach with a pain racking his limbs, but never did he utter an unpleasant word for anyone. Never did he blame anyone for anything in his life. Salvatore was a responsible husband as well as an affectionate father. At times, he gave his children a bath and used to hold them tenderly as if they were flowers. Finally, the author comes back to where he started. He reminds us that he wanted to keep us attentive throughout his narration and he was successfully done so. Mogam depicts the character of Salvatore as a man who possessed nothing but an invaluable quality, the rarest, the most precious and the loveliest that anyone can have, the quality of goodness. Let us revise the story. Thank you.